Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 48, part 2. It is the 15th of May, 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM, and here's some players. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half-Elf Druid. I'm Sean. I play Bastiel, the Warforged Cleric. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing a uh, half-orc paladin called Crumbar. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Hi, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half-elf monk. Perfect. So, I think we just hear the uh, clang of the hammer on the stone floor after that. <laughs> and he um, looks up at you. I, I turn my head to the side to show the maker's mark behind my ear-type mm -hmm. object. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the ear <Eracle>. Yeah. <laughs> to show that mm -hmm. I said that name because he made me and I'll say uh, we come here on matters far beyond blood and gold we are here as a matter of destiny and I'll cast guidance on myself which doesn't take any components cool uh, you can't wow anti-magic type mm. meme yep mm -hmm. whoa what did what does guidance do anyway? Um, it just lets you add a D four to an ability check. Yeah, All right. you go to like feel out for the like the connection to your power, your clerical powers, and it's not there. Oh shit! So yeah. Oh god! Literally. Hmm. No wonder he needs no guards in here. Hmm. But. Okay. So now if I show him the source, it's not going to have Celeste's like, cage around it, right? I mean, I know. who knows, right? Is that even something uh, you want uh, to open? <laughs> but he kind of I'll looks him... at you and he says, yeah. Remember you are in front of the king. I did not give you permission to cast spells. Uh, I'll I'll, uh, exp I'll talk to him about. I'm gonna talk to him. I'll say. Uh, what? Celeste isn't a known god, right? No. Who says she's a god? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, okay. <clears throat> I told you uh, originally. My... Think more of your uh, abilities. Are a little bit more like you. You're more like a warlock mechanically than a cleric. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just pop this say, back up because he looks so badass. Um, my lady of fate um, led me on a journey here with these people. I'll nod towards where they left to find out uh, where I came from, my origin. Um, uh, I'll say I'll ask him if he's familiar with how Ulrich uh, how things went with him in the end because I don't really know mm -hmm. looks at him and says your origins seem clear to me you were created by dwarven hands what more would you desire to know? Okay, here's the big choice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the players. Uh, On you go, tell them. Explain this. Yeah. Show me you know a party slot. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Even if he does kill this character, I feel like this is the exact way he'd want to go. This is like we're so close to finding out the whole purpose behind his life. So I think, I think you should start stressing, bro. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, after he says that, I'll dislocate my jaw and I'll show him that there's no power core inside of me. And, uh, yeah, like you can like go to like open your jaw and it all can like unbuckles. And there's the big fiery kind of thing inside. And says, 
You appear to be powered nonetheless. I think as that has happened as well, Crumbars is kind of taken aback by the fact that, hmm, there was a fucking raging infernal in there. <laughs> well, you don't really know what it is, right? It just has a weird red energy coming out of it. Somebody could do me mm. anti acid. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, like, take, take note for later. I cast Pepto Bismol! <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, so well, I guess we are not sponsored by Big Pharma, just saying. Yeah, hundred percent not. <laughs> but if Big Pharma wants to sponsor us, I will oh, sell it. <laughs> um, joking, of course. So the dwarf king stands there, Mister Donar Patrovangius, and he he takes like his pipe out of his mouth, and he just like tilts it towards you, and you see the red glow from all the kind of burning leaves. And he says, Yet you appear to be powered, after all. And what was your reply to that? Mm. I'll, I'll pack it all up, return to my stance, normal mm. stance, and I'll just nod and say, you know what? A warforge is a warforge is a warforge. I'll say it to myself and not him. <laughs> yeah, but is it still out loud, though, I guess? No, no, no. Okay. I'll, I'll just nod and I'll uh, say, fine, turn around. I guess if it's not a problem, I'm good. He doesn't recognize what it is. I'll just walk off. I'll, say, I'll nod as in, like, thanks and appreciation that he didn't smash me. And <laughs> yeah, I'll leave Crumble there. Um, as he's kind of walking away, there's just a kind of confused look, and I'll just be like in Orkish, speaking to the king. I'll just say, it's like, what in the hell was that about? An interesting choice of words. My Orkish is not vast. Well, uh, I'll, I'll just kind of like, you just kind of see me like shake my head a wee bit and. Back in common, I was just like, "Sorry, that I I revert back to that sometimes." Now, back to the que- uh, back to the matter I have at hand. Do you know any information on the sarcophagus, or who, more importantly, who was in it? No. This is news to me. This is troubling news regarding the Undermarch. But dangers in the Undermarch are not news to dwarves. Have you... I I guess the dangers that you're common with are those dark elves. Have you ever faced a kind of threat like this before from there? Especially one that had access to Forge? It kind of like eyes you up. And then puffs in his pipe. And he goes and like stands back where his hammer had been. And he just like stands it back on its end there and lets it go. Like it doesn't even like doesn't wobble, doesn't shake, just stays perfect. I got kind of like, you know, couldn't help myself but to just be like staring at it and just being like, oh, baby. <laughs> and he, he turns back and he says, If I were so versed in these types of encounters, I imagine Forge would not be standing. Well, I'm glad to see it as this is an impressive city. I, I, however, wish to offer you my services in stopping whatever that thing was that came out. It hurt me quite badly, and I wish revenge on it. And revenge is your right to it. However, and then he goes, "What are you crumpling?" <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, I thought I had. I thought I had mute there. Yeah. Nope. Please share. If you bring sweets to the yeah. party, you share. <laughs> <laughs> Kings there, I've been smoking my own tobacco here and you're holding it on the ground. <laughs> um, but anyway, back in the RP, he says, This is your right to seek vengeance on this creature, but you do not know what this creature is or where it went. So your vengeance serves merely as a distraction from your task at hand that you wish to draft me into. Why would I support this vengeance? And he sits and he's thrown with that. Being so close to home, I believe that this, this being means to attack you. And I would not like that. I would not want to see that happen to a king such as yourself. And why would that be? Why do you wish my protection? Thinking, thinking. <laughs> Admiring his weapon is not good enough reason. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking his cod piece is loose or something like that. <laughs> like that. I'll be like, mm -hmm. we came here looking for powerful allies. And I'll just like gesture towards uh, his weapon again mm -hmm. and just be like, and I can, I know power when I see it. I respect, I, I have gained, you know, I, I give you respect, King. I wish to see no harm come to you and hope to forge an alliance where you can help us. And then obviously all or the buzzers go off and all the disco lights start flashing. He said the name of the city he's in! <laughs> and it doesn't happen. <laughs> it's like a big game show. It's like Sorry, QI when you say the obvious answer. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen by the way in case you were a uh, confused. Oh, like, motherfucker. I know, right. It's, it's just maybe not quite as cool as I would like this to be. Uh -huh. It's just this starts happening. But yeah. <laughs> so, uh, he stands there and he kind of nods as you've been speaking to him and uh, puffs his pipe a bit more and he says You have very gilded words. But yet, what else should I expect from an orc so well dressed? Any motions with the end of his pipe to like your armor? And barks at me. <laughs> oh, so actually, just, it's just a, it's just a random dog in the piles of gold. <laughs> wow. Best day ever. ever. <laughs> Don't mind truffles. <laughs> oh my god, it's canon now. Love it. Wow. Well. Um, he definitely does not have a dog in his gold pile. <laughs> <laughs> Just be happy, Arya was in there, she would have probably tried to steal it. <laughs> yeah, the one thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, anyway, back to the thing that we're doing. <laughs> yep, the thing is as well, everything else will still be kept at the original doorway that's closed. Mm -hmm. You're still mm -hmm. on the inside. But you are far enough away that you don't hear the conversation, um, and you're standing with that other dwarf. FYI, you haven't left this room. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, so Cooper, um, you were saying. Anyway, on that, I'll just like kind of like pound against the armor and just be like, I worked hard to get this. Yes, I can see that your hardships reaching me alone are a testament to this. Where does your tribe hail from? What's that place called again? The, is it the Firelands or...? The Isle of Fire? The Isle of Fire, that one. Yep, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, well, um, that's what it's called now! <laughs> I'll just say... My tribe where from the Isle of Fire? Any kind of like... Puffs in his pipe and nods a bit, he says. Does your tribe have a name? Uh, oh, two seconds, I need to pull up. 
the thing. Chrome bag goes into his inventory. Mm. I can never remember the name of home. Yeah, that's <laughs> the name of all my people. I just need to keep checking. <laughs> Uh, no, when you oh, right, bio. Bio. When, it, when you've travelled and lived in as many places as I, as I have, when people ask you where's home, sometimes it's a complicated question. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Um, <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna no. In fact, I'm not. I'm gonna do one better. Um, I'll where are say, you from? <laughs> Where are you from, Mr. <laughs> King? Um, I'll just turn to him and go, my tribe has a name no more. He looks kind of solemn at that. And uh, he kind of like nods. Kind of like once at that. He says, I hear sorrow in your words. I'll just... Kinda of take a minute <coughs> just to clear my throat more than in. Um and I'll just say it's like you look upon the last of the tribe. And what happened to your tribe if the words do not bring you too much pain? Damn, I don't know Max anymore. I can't be your agent. Um Yeah, right. I'm just saying. But is that Crumbar's first reaction then? Does he like grip his fist because that's where his axe would normally be in his hand? Yeah, yeah. I'll be like that. Like, gr you know, like look down, grip in my hands and just be like, <laughs> do you have anything to drink? And he says, what kind of king would I be if my stores were dry and he kind of smirks he kind of smirks at that yeah <gasps> kiss <laughs> <laughs> sha -la, la 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 don't be shy <laughs> <laughs> you start singing to you yeah <laughs> um, say like then pour, some, pour a glass of wine and I will tell you everything so you, you wish, wish to barter this information no, it's not as a barter. I just could use a drink. <laughs> it's a way of life. <laughs> we will speak again, you and I. And perhaps I you will get this drink with me. With I'll just say, <laughs> I, look for, I look forward to it. This I'll, mess. I'll, leave, I'll leave you to your phone, although I do, I would at like uh, I would like to ask that if your if your men do come across anything to do with I don't want to say vampire fuck what's the best way to describe them fiends I don't know blood eating fiends with pointy teeth and yeah mm. <laughs> if they do blood come across yeah. really polite man who woke up from a nap yeah <laughs> if they do come across any unnatural things attacking trying to attack forge please let me know so i may have my vengeance and protect you and on that i'll just feel i'll, I'll like step back give another wee bow and uh in orcish or just again be like thank you for seeing me and then i'll turn around and just walk away okay and just like slowly and nods at that as you're like walking back down. So like you all from the distance as we zoom way back the camera to the doors and you guys all see Grumbar like walking back towards you guys. Um so yeah. Probably use... at that point where you kinda of like tap your leg a little bit, kinda of like what's taking him so <laughs> mm. It's like, oh god, oh god, he's gonna punch the king, he's gonna punch the king. <laughs> guys, what do we do? <laughs> and then yeah, Grumbar kind oh of Oh god, uh... oh god, he's gonna steal the thing, you know, the king's <laughs> Crumbery gets to the. Uh, what? I think that's just Bastille losing audio. That's fine. Oh. Yep. Everybody still got me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Good, good. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, as Crumbery 
like you know, rejoins the group. Uh, the attendant man who's been with you uh, says, "I will show you to more suitable accommodation. Please follow me." And he um, pushes the doors open, and off he walks. And the, like the waves of heat hit you again. Um, I assume you all follow him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, like he's just he's get taken through again more passageways for about, again maybe another half an hour or so before 45 minutes or whatever of walking um, and then these are kind of shown to a big room that has like a big table in the middle carved from stone um, and there are like I, not drinks cabinets or whatever but like kind of like side tables that have got like food on one and drink on the other um, and he says if you require anything while the king considers your words, we will have someone stationed outside. I would recommend you keep yourselves contained to the facilities within. And shows you into the two doors. Um, I'll just say it's like, as for our belongings, may we have them returned to us? I believe once we have clarified which are in fact your belongings and which are in fact dwarven yes <laughs> they will be returned Shit. in time that's everything I have and then he just looks at you come <laughs> whoopsie like, that might you, be a problem you bitches shouldn't have stole those books I told you reading was bad <laughs> <laughs> I told you <laughs> And that damn Carol Baskins. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so he's all happy to go in the fancier, much nicer looking, like, like banquet room. Uh, yeah, I'm all good with that. Yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. And, like, the doors get closed. Uh, and he's all left alone again. What happens when you get to enjoy the room? I'm going to assume Ketty goes to the food. Yes. I cool. shall also go to the food and try and beat her to it as... I think she's we always faster, end so. up in eating competitions. Yeah, but um, yeah, these are left alone now. It does seem like the room's fairly, fairly private as well, right? Because I mean, how do you bug giant stone walls, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So, so yeah, it'd be quite contemplative. Yeah, does anybody question the fact that Bastiel and uh, Grumber? Spoke longer with uh, the king than everybody else. I would have tried to grill Grumbar and be like, what was that all about? Because obviously, I know that he's not the uh, most polite of people. Okay. I'm lovely. Savage. Uh, you know I'll... what I taste. <laughs> Uh, are you speaking to Crumbar here, or? Crumbar, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, whoever said I'm lovely. <laughs> Did Crumbar ever say he's lovely? Obviously, he's a rose <laughs> petal. Um, yeah. Anyway, so Ari has asked me that, so I just like, I was wanting to find out if he knew anything of the sarcophagus incident, and if we and if that. Thing had shown up again. But we're losing Ari as well. I didn't hear a word you said. Oh, what did he say? Yeah, everything just cut out. Sadly, I can hear. I heard you that time. I'm just like, sadly, hey, yeah. Hi, I was. I was like, oh, so what did he say? Yeah, I just like, sadly, he had, he's had no knowledge of it. But I've asked that if as men come across it to inform me for I want my vengeance we all do I'll just like smile at that and I'll be in, in infernal I'll just be like we'll burn the bastard <laughs> so yeah everybody gets that, that. everybody gets that shiver up their spine when you hear them switch into infernal <laughs> I guess <laughs> mm. yeah and then I'd be like, oh shit, Kitty's beating me at food. Om nom 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 nom. 
Where are they else? I'll partake as well, but yeah. obviously with a lot more restraint and with a lot more delicacy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, sit on the floor, cross-legged, kind of doing the thinker pose with my arms. Mm -hmm. And just go and contemplate the, the notion that if there was any dwarf to ask about my thing, it would have been that guy, and he has no idea. Or, or he just didn't seem to think it was bad or good. But yeah, like, it's, no it's, like, why don't you roll insight after the fact? To try mm -hmm. and... Why don't you try... Oh. You could roll insight on what, how you acted, right? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. As like a, how did that go? And then you think of all the cool things you could have said to him. <laughs> uh, I mean, that thing most humans do normally. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like you sit and think of how you reacted, and you pretty much went, right, so I was made by this dude like ages ago, and I have mm. this thing inside me. And obviously the king was like, and you, you said, well, I, I shouldn't be alive, is what you said, right? Like he mm -hmm. said, I don't have a power source. And he went, I can see it. So, yeah. like, his reaction was very much a case of, you say you're not alive, but you're talking to me, and you are. Yeah, I I, I mean, I, the whole point for me was to just see, would he react violently in recognition? And if he doesn't deem it a known threat, that's what I was going for. That or he has no clue what he looked at. Hmm, okay, okay. Right? And the insight role you get is more about he didn't seem to think it was important what powered you. The fact that you were saying, I shouldn't be alive, he's like, but you are, so, you know, go figure. Yeah. Right? Mm. Like, it's not like he sat, here and said, he sat here and said, praise my parents for making sure I was born. Right? I am alive and I am here and look at my bitchin' gold collection. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he's not a subtle man at all, is he? No. <laughs> well then, hmm. yeah, I think I would be just contemplating then during that and just going, maybe the dwarves are not my people. Oh. Do they, they don't seem to get it. Or at least... <laughs> hmm. I, I'm basically thinking, like, I'm powered by something that probably has nothing to do with dwarves. Even right. though I, my shell is made by them, mm -hmm. and there's some seeking to be done, that I mean, there's probably pointless doing it here. Yeah, the answers might lie elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a valid thing to come to, especially if you read the um, all the books that you've had. Right, the stuff that you've gleaned yeah. was pretty much a case of your worry about his reaction is valid. Right, like um, they don't really like anything that seems to contradict the gods. According yeah. to a, the dwarven pantheon, so yeah. But yeah, okay, cool. But he should... seemed pretty chill, right? So maybe it isn't that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The mystery Making continues. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, what about everybody else? What about I uh, reach? What's reach up to? To be fair, just eating. Uh, I'm <laughs> listening because, yeah, I'm curious to, well, about what the conversation was, but nothing to do with to add to it. Uh, mm -hmm. No questions for, like, Grumbar or Bastille? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> what about MDLS? MDLS got anything else to say, or are you just going to wait it out? I think I'm going to wait it out, like, mm -hmm. just keep stuff in my face and yeah it probably gets to the part where you're still sat with like a plate of scones right and you're there going they're good but I've eaten so many <laughs> but there's still some left and you look over at Crumber who's probably doing the same as the plates in between both of you and it's like but if I don't eat it she'll get it <laughs> <laughs> like, I die in each other like I'm gonna eat more than you <laughs> 
It's like, we are yeah, going to... Boom. recreating my birthdays from when I was a kid. <laughs> the way it were about my mom's cake. Like, yeah. it's exactly that. So much cake, but <laughs> need to put more of it into my face. And uh, yeah, so I think maybe like a couple of hours pass of um, everybody sitting around. Does the fact that a couple of hours pass change what MD's up to? Or is everybody still chilling? Chilling. Okay. Is yep. she getting a bit bored? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably try and sneak in some infernal lessons now that I've moved on from dwarfs. Yeah. I was yeah. I was very te tempted to as as we were getting food. I was tempted to sit next to you and be like, "This is this, and this is this, and this is that." And I'm like, but "You don't need to eat, so why would I teach him food?" <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Just teach him nil by mouth, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like if how does that come about then? Like how how far into the time do you decide to turn to her and say so? Probably you know, in real life, I'd probably take like twenty minutes or something like that. We just sit there and get up and sigh, accept that I'm nowhere near. As close as I thought I was. Uh, after those books got my hopes up. Mm. And I'll say... You, I think it start, it is time I started um, exploring that language of yours. You uh, couldn't teach me something, could you? I like nod my head and I'm like, yeah, sure. Would you like to know anything in particular? And then I'll like say, him? I'll say, uh, kind of like words to do with like life and fuel, just so I can recognize them if I ever see them. Yeah, I'd like happily. Etc. You might need some help from Crumber on this one, by the way, Arya. Just FYI. Yeah, I was. Uh, funnily enough, I actually was thinking of like <laughs> introducing him to the entire language exchange thing. If anything, to make sure that you know the dwarves don't end up without any food. <laughs> but 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 <laughs> yeah. So um, I, I I'd say like okay yeah, but I think Crumbar might know even more than I do. Um, let's see if he'll he'll help us because we both probably have a bit more to, to learn about this. Is that okay? Carb coma, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay, so I'll walk over to Crumbar and I'll um I'll mention I'll be like, oh, by the way, we're um Bastille and I have kind of been doing a bit of a language uh, uh, um exchange. I'm not really sure if you noticed. Um He's wanting to teach me. He's wanting me to teach him some uh, some inferno. He's asking for some words that I'm not really sure about and not really good about. Would you be willing to help? I just kind of, you know, look up from my empty dish now as, and just look at him and be like, what use does he have for this that language? And yeah, does Cumber think about the fact that you've seen inside him now? Front row seats. Mm -hmm. With some kind of weird energy thing inside mm -hmm. him. And now he's asking about Infernal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's in the Jaws theme. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> da, 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 da. No, wait, that's uh, <laughs> we don't We don't want any <laughs> <Mario>. of this. <laughs> The um, Jaws theme, da, 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 da. yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, anyway, that's what I've said. Well, um, thing is, like, and you've seen inside him as well, are you? Like, you've seen the weird energy thing inside him. Yeah, but. I can kind of understand why he'd want to know more about it, just like I kind of want to understand what's going on with my bow and, mm -hmm. you know, Mistress of the Flame sort of thing. So, um, I kind of 
relate to that mm. seeking well search for for knowledge and wanting to understand and obviously if things are a bit iffy in that specific way and maybe infernal text and knowledge might be the way to find out a bit can I just check you are you saying this in character yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah like that'd yeah, be like right. I'm I can relate to why he'd want to to learn this language and, and understand himself more so that's why I'm willing and, and happy to help him if I felt this if this is in any way, you know, dangerous, then of course I wouldn't do it. Okay. But I don't think Celeste would put him in our path if if he was in any way um, if, if him being around would be in any way detrimental. Like, like she put you in mine. Or you in mine. And I, I just smile at you. Yeah. Like knowing how many times I've saved your ass and how many times you've, like, yeah. saved mine. I'll, and um, it's smooth. I like. Only on one condition. And I stand up and I march over towards Bastille. Hmm. And I'm. <laughs> I just ignore you. And I walk 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 up to Bast steel and I'm like Are you what are you doing just now, Sean? Uh Bastille. Oh yeah. right, well what's Bastille doing just now? Standing up, leaning against the wall, looking at the floor, waiting on Aya to return. Yeah. I walk up to you and like kinda get like almost face to face and I'll be like Open yourself again. What the fuck? <laughs> Buy me dinner first. <laughs> Dude, we literally just had a feast and you don't eat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, is that so? That's a big thing, right? Is Bastille going to do that, right? Because that's a big thing. Yeah, that's like tons of trust, and I don't know how private it is here, mm. and it's Might not nice well. anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? Really, I'm kind of at my wits and searching for answers. If I, I kind of anticipate you're just going to throw shit down the void hole and see if anything reacts or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll let him have his turn at figuring out the source. And uh, I'll sigh. I'll first. I'll try and cast guidance on myself to see if my magic's still failing me. No, it works. Okay. Uh, if you want to cast it, put it in the chat. Just so we can checkpoint it. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do, 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 do. And uh, I, I was so tempted to like when you were like, I get right up in his face and I'm like, now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> sha la 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 la, don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, I'll guard myself before I do. Mm-hmm. And yeah. The jaw dislocates. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. The kind of violent red energy inside him. Just you, you kind of like... see it from a way down. Like you know, mm-hmm. you can't see what's causing it. You just see that the effects of it as he opens up. And it's got like a white energy cage around it. Um, an infernal, looking at whatever the fuck that thing is. I always just feel like. What are you? If you can hear me speak. So, are you? You hear him say an infernal. Yeah. As he talks into Bastiel's open mouth. Yeah. Echo. Echo. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So I'm guessing no reply. <laughs> no, that's all. That's all. That's all there is. You can reply if you want. <laughs> yeah. really I'll, uh, obviously at this point I'm just assuming the Bastille himself is a bit confused because obviously 
what lessons I've given him so far. Oh, he's, but not he's at the dentist at the moment, and, isn't he, right? So he just sat there going, <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just kind of like laugh a little bit and say, I don't know what you, why you asked. I don't think you're going to get somebody from the inside answering you. Didn't you Most try and speak to it last time? Talking to the ears, but okay. Pretty sure well, I all, the, all the more so because I tried that. <laughs> I, I don't remember trying it, but it does sound like something I would. Yeah, I feel like if we didn't try it, we, de we definitely <laughs> talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'll I'll be like, nope, that wouldn't work. These sort of things don't tend to talk back. Weird energies things and I like kind of point behind me like where my bow usually mm -hmm. sits like you know I tried talking to, mm -hmm. to the bow and I didn't really get much outside of the reaction to Drakaris mm -hmm. touch yeah. it give it uh, <laughs> go on so I think that's enough <laughs> don't uh... you I just need to be sure. Oh boy. What um, are you thinking of doing? Kaboom! Oh god. What the... So you see me throw my hands down and oh the god. the round the ground all around us for like fifteen foot from me just starts <laughs> glowing gold. <laughs> and I... what, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Again. I'm sorry, Bastille, he makes no sense. <laughs> because it didn't answer me, but how do I know it's just choosing not to answer me? You know? Whoa. Badass. So. Yeah, Kit is sitting, she's just like, oh, here we go. Because, mm -hmm. like, rolls her eyes, like, it's more comfortable looking at it. <laughs> Slades up so the again. wall a bit. <laughs> so, again, an infernal. Um... I mean. Right. What were you gonna say? Okay. So yeah, you create a magical zone that guards against deception in a ten foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose within range. Is Bastille the point? No. Uh well I mean Yeah, but that's yeah. not who, who, who are you who, that... who are you trying to catch in the radius out of everyone in the room? The big fiery ball in Bastille's chest. Please. Okay, so Bastille is what you're saying. <laughs> Because again, there isn't a fiery ball inside him, there's a weird reddish energy, yeah, energy with some white glow to it. So the way lightsabers are white in the middle, but red on the edges. Yeah. Mm. It's similar to that. Um, that effect. But yeah. I, obviously I can hear people shouting Sith in the chat. Yep, you're 100% right. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have a chat. But... Um, Right, so until the spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area for the first time in its turn, or starts its turn there, must make a charisma saving throw. So, everybody who's in this, I'm probably saying Arya and Bastiel are at least in this, but who else thinks yeah. they'd be hit by this based on the 15 foot oh, radius? Good. I really hope I wouldn't, but... I'd, I'd I'd only, I don't even think Arya and Bastiel would be. Sure. Kitty, are you close enough to be hit by it, or are you out of it? Um, depends how far away they went sort of thing like unless me and Crumbar was obviously sat together eating trying to out eat each other um well depends if he went over to them or they came over to him he went over, I, to, I, them, I went so over yeah. to them but yeah, yeah. it can be yeah, like far enough away up. yeah and well, maybe it does just hit those two food. so do you still want to give me some charisma saves do you want to give me your dc Crumbar? <laughs> wow uh, 13 i believe it is 13 oh, that's nice for uh, area Oh shit, minus one. Well, make makes sense considering I'm not really doing anything for her. So um yeah. Um so again, into his chairs would be like Hey, I need one from you, Crumbar. You're inside the radius. Oh do I need to roll <laughs> for that as well. You're a creature. <laughs> yes, I am. It doesn't oh, I don't shit. I don't see here it says it excludes you, so and I get a plus one on this. How do I add that? Or we're we just gonna. Where's that from? Mind? Is that from your sword, which I don't have? Bugger a hell. 
Boop. Boop. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. So. <laughs> wow. So. Mm -hmm. Here we are. An affected creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such a creature can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. So, Arya, you know you're not affected by the spell. Also, people should be setting their as to their character names, remember? Because we're getting Arangela and Shan E as posts here. Oh, I already did that. You have to redo that every time. Every time. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yep, that's okay. But, um, the... Yeah, like, I guess who goes first, right? These are all aware the spell has happened, because giant gold magic everywhere. I will, uh, after throwing my hands down to cast this, where again we're looking into Bastille's chest cavity, I guess. But just be speaking in Inferno and just like... Can you speak? I'm to answer him. Oh. So, let me get this right. If he says a question, everyone affected by the spell answers it. I right. no, 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 no. I'm only, I'm only no, no. saying... So, I'll, I'll read the spell again. On a failed save... A creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in the radius. You know whether each creature succeeds or fails on its saving throw. So everybody knows who's affected by the spell. Mm -hmm. And affected, and by that I mean Crumbar knows that part because it's only really Crumbar that mm -hmm. can tell that. I, mm -hmm. An affected creature, right, is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such a creature okay. can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. So no, mm -hmm. there is no requirement to answer. Yeah, so, rem just... so remember, I'm not asking Bastille, I'm asking whatever the hell's in his chest. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But um, it could also choose not to answer. Or it might be a thing and not a person, right? You just mm -hmm. don't know. It's kind of the point of Bastille's journey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you say that. I mean, Bastille, you can choose to answer if you want. Same with MD in the room that can hear Crumbar. But I guess you need to understand Infernal. So, mostly are. I'll wait in anticipation of this thing saying something. Uh, well, that that's the thing as well, is because I'm saying it Infernal, Bastille wouldn't understand what I'm saying. Yep. So. Well. I get no reply from that. I mean, does it sound like Ender responds to your question from what I can tell? No. And the only person that can understand it would be, would be Arya. Yeah, um, I mean, I understood it. I just thought it's silly and I realised it's not directed at me, so obviously because yeah. I could. Mm. Yep. And, uh, yeah, like, you're aware the magic's happening, right? Best mm. deal. So. Yeah. But beyond that, whether you, I, you understand what the spell is, right? Yeah. I I'll will... ask him later on what magically wibbly wobbly he's done. <laughs> I think you probably will... know. You've probably been affected by it before, right? You've seen Crumbar do this a bunch of times, I think. It's best DL I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. I will look at Bastille, and I'll just say, and I'll be like, "Where do you think this power came from?" Oh fuck. Uh, another realm. And that is that all you're saying? Just another realm? Yeah. What makes you think that? It's still a the dwarven book. book. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so I read it in dwarven. <laughs> Sorry, there was like too much. Go what? What did you say? The books we found. So the dwarves didn't give you this then? That you found it in Dwarven book? Seems like it. Do you think it's a threat? Uh, do I think 
he's a threat. I think it's forbidden. Well, there's a grin at, like, kind of smirk at that. And as I'm smirking, you just kind of see the light around me kind of just dissipate away. And we're like, what do you need my help with, Bastille? Wow. Um, and the, it, did you dispel the... You yeah, dispel yeah, that's it. what I was saying. You can't dispel yeah. it. It's on for 10 minutes. Oh, can I not dispel it? I thought... No. Um, Concentration. Uh, until, until, oh yeah, right. Cool. Until the spell ends. All right. No worries. So we well, a nice golden light for ten minutes, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you asked me a question. I should answer it right. So the truth. I mean, maybe. Okay. Obviously, the golden light's still there, but maybe you can see because I'm not doesn't questioning matter. you. There, like, doesn't yeah. matter. Like, no, nothing okay. magical changes. It's whether you ask him questions or not, 10 minutes of this exists. And keep right, in mind, go. there's no compulsion to answer, right? You don't need to answer. You can just not answer. Mm. Oh, well. I'm, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping you can understand but that Scott, that's not a... I want you to stop talking and I want Bastille to respond mm. to your question, whether he cho chooses not to answer or... Mm -hmm. if he does no, engage. I'll answer. Um, let's say, part of me is missing and all I want is to understand how I can become whole again. So how can I help? I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking the thing inside me might be similar to what's inside of Arya's bow. And I'd like to understand the language to investigate that. Let's get started then. And I'll just kind of like gesture over towards like the table. The table nods. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking punch it! <laughs> Mimics everywhere. <laughs> I'll, I'll close up the source and as I stroll over there I'll say what happened to your axe? And I'll just look out and I'll be like, I have a sword, mate, not an axe. <laughs> True. True. You threw the axe away? And I'm just, again, I'll be looking at, I'll look out, look at him and say, I've had a sword, not an axe. And then just walk to the table. <laughs> oh. Does anyone else hear this? Yeah, it's spoken at volume, right? So yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to like hide it. From oh, so he's not saying like Scott is saying. I had a sword. He's saying I have a sword because that is not mm -hmm. a lie. <laughs> yeah. I have a sword, not an axe. Mm -hmm. Well, that's yeah. also like because you do have a hand axe, so. I guess is that take ten, currently take, take ten damage. It's currently past tense, I guess, at the moment, isn't it? So yeah, mm, yeah. He's doing that evasive part of the spell. That's what I'm saying. Like he obviously sounds very shifty to everyone that can hear him. Don't know, roll inside uh, if you want, then, right? Uh, what me? Yeah, I mean you're trying to incite him, so. Well, we've had like five times now. He's evaded telling me what's up. Well, no, batter in, roll insight, go, there you go. Right, uh, do you want to roll for me, Scott, a mm -hmm. deception? Deception. As a misdirect. Boom! Yeah, so <laughs> I think because of how close that is, you can tell something, there's more to whatever Grumbar is saying, but you still just don't have enough to work it out. Like, you're definitely convinced he had an axe, he definitely doesn't have an axe anymore. That's pretty damn <laughs> obvious. Um, yeah. You've seen him murder things with his axe quite successfully. Um, but now it's a great sword, and those are very different items. Because, yeah, one looks angelic, what? another one looks demonic. So, yeah. What I'd like to 
if I can, Ryan, um, what I'd yeah. like say what I w- I'd like him to pick up off of that. Sure. Like he knows I'm lying, and it's quite blatantly obvious. No, because you can't lie. lie, so you cannot or, be lying. No, sorry, or, or sorry, not a lie, but a deception. You know, um, it's it's not not the, the truth, not the full yeah. truth. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, evading. It, yeah, as I said, you're and, evading. And, and it's more and it's more in that kind of way of I know what you're asking me, but we are not talking about this now. Hmm. Wait ten minutes so we can lie. <laughs> then you can talk about it. <laughs> so what I like about Zona Trisk is when you dump it yeah. and if you're in it, you're stuck. I was like, oh, man, I should aimed it over there. Is that kind of way it's like going up to a kid and being like, Did you eat all the chocolate? No, and there's chocolate all over their face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'll say, telling the truth because I sincerely believe this, as I pull up a chair, I'll say if you if you die again, can you die properly? Because I think I can do something about that. But I I don't know what that thing you drank was, and I couldn't do anything about that one. I'll be like, I mean, you're positive it point, wasn't wine. I'll give you that much. <laughs> I mean, by by this point, I'm imagining that we have sat down at the table that is away from the circle on the ground. No, yeah. I think I think that like the half of the table is covered in it. So if you want to deliberately avoid mm. the golden zone of truth, <laughs> mm. then you can choose to sit at the really obvious liars side of the table. Wow. Okay, I'll try answering <laughs> this way, Ryan, and just tell me if this is acceptable. Um, sorry, I'll just say it's like I thought you were. I thought you were wanting to learn a language. True. Let's do this. And I, uh, I'll ask him the same thing. I asked Arya words to do with powering things, fuel, core, life, uh, blood, so on. Um, Arya, are you going to do anything while this is happening? I'm nodding my head. I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't really know all of the words, so I thought yeah. obviously you'll know yeah, a yeah. bit better. Yeah, but I mean, like, are you going to join us while we're going through this? No, she's literally speaking in character to you um, right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm wait. Literally sorry. right next to you. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I was asking, like, IRL, sorry. Um, all right, no, cool, so Ari's joined us, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just, I think between, like, the oh, three... Sure. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing, like, between the three of us, we're just kind of go back and forth explaining different crackles, sounds and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, um... If we have time, I might throw in a couple words that you could use on the Dwarven King next time or something. Although, no, you did talk perfectly fine in Orkish, it mm. looked like. Do you speak Orkish? It looked fluent. Oh, you did talk perfectly fine in gibberish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'll just spend my time doing that. Sure. So, do you used to want to do a performance with advantage? Mm. Um, and Bastille, Aria, do you want, you, I need you to do an arcana. No, Bastille, you're not. You're mm. not performing. You're learning. You need to do an arcana for yeah. me normally. Mm. I was going to say, does Aria want to roll it? Since it's no, I know, think I think you're rolling it, and she's helping. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, was that performance? You said yeah. Yep. Like it was working. Oh, so, I'm helping. Okay, so it's not arcana. <gasps> Luckily, yeah. mostly Arya is fixing a lot of the the words apparently because apparently Crumbar is oh, okay. messing it up according yeah, to that. So like, I like this idea of being like, so this is this, and you're like, wait, didn't you see it was pronounced like this? And I'm like, yes, yeah. <laughs> I was testing you. Near <laughs> <like that>. yes. <laughs> Sometimes the crackles go burn, burn, crackle, crackle, and sometimes it's crackle, crackle, burn, burn. But, you know, it's the anger in the voice that gets the point across. Um, okay, so infernal language progress. Yay. That's Accents marking. and dialects and such, I'm sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll mark off how that well that's going just now as well. Um, let's see. 
Okay, cool. Um, I think some time passes. Does any of the like does Reach for Kitty like say anything as they just all start speaking horrible demonic languages? Yeah, but I'm thinking I could do a long rest. It's a bit in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh god, not this again. Again, you can take a short rest, but there ain't, ain't time for a long rest in yet. Yeah. Nah, sadly no. not. I can trance, as long as I've got four hours. No, because you still need eight hours of rest for a long rest. It's just that you're not useless for eight hours. You're, you're only useless for four. That is the benefit of being an elf, sadly. You don't get long rests faster. Long rests are still eight hours. It is a bit lame. I used to think elves were super cool because of that. <laughs> but they're not, sadly. Damn system. Yeah, it's because <laughs> people need eight hours of sleep, but elves can trance for four. But a long rest isn't specifically sleep, it's eight hours of doing nothing. Mm. So, yeah, the long rest is separate to the elven thing, which is a bit... Ugh. But anyway, um, that aside, after a couple of hours, uh, the doors get pushed open again, and it is the attendant that you've been speaking with, and uh, there's a lot of people following behind him. Uh, after like two hours, I guess, you've maybe stopped practicing Infernal for a bit, uh, and they all kind of he just kind of like opens the doors, kind of turns and nods to them. And two by two in walk many dwarves who dump <laughs> piles of stuff on the big stone table and they kind of nod and then somebody brings a fancy gold cage with Uruya in it to you and hands you the cage with the bird in it and he says, your things have been returned to you. Minus the property that was mistakenly removed from our <laughs> library. I have <laughs> made arrangements for your weapons to be returned to you also. And then I think maybe like just on cue there's another bunch of dwarfs that walk in and then yeah, dump all the weapons on the stone table as well. All the dwarfs shuffle out. And he says, The king We'll see you all now. And then we end the session there. Oh, that was quick. Can I just say Arya had the good yeah. sense to look a bit ashamed when they mentioned <laughs> the books? Oh. At least at least somebody has, you know, some uh, shame, I guess. Um, hey, Goodness, I don't know. We just went and read them. <laughs> so, you tried to. Yeah, so we just thought we'd take them <laughs> from their place. Without permission, that we broke into, without permission also. Blah, 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 blah. We didn't break into, we opened the door and walked in. You didn't have permission. <laughs> uh, there was nobody there to give permission. Oh, that's a great excuse. Oh, we weren't trespassing, that's... nobody said don't. <laughs> uh, to leave a door, a what, the key there, yeah. That's... I don't think they left a key there, right? I don't think that's well, what somebody happened. Did. Yeah, somebody did. I don't think that makes it legal. Like, if somebody takes my house key from me but gives it to you, <laughs> that doesn't let you legally come into my house. If you so, left the line in the, the back door. No, if somebody takes my house key from me and gives it to you, that doesn't make it legal for you to come into my house. There you go, buddy. <laughs> um, but that's not us naming the session. Um, I'm sure you were debatable, you know. <laughs> ah, session. Mm. Uh, you actually said something earlier, Shan, uh, in conversation that I took a note of because I really liked it. And, yeah. Okay. And Something's about kill or something. But, yeah. Nope. Blood and gold. I really like that. It felt very session tightly. <laughs> Flame and gold's another one, but mm. yeah. Sweet. I love gold. Just loads of voice. <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah, anybody get any other suggestions for the title? The court of the in the court of the dwarf king. Hey, type whatever <laughs> your suggestions are. People can then vote. One second. <laughs> and to get any other ideas? Hmm. Uh. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Granted, mine is a very um, 
obscure reference to one of the most defining records in mm. rock music. <laughs> it's also so many words. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I just couldn't help myself. I, I knew it wouldn't pass, but still. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no vote so far, so... Um... <laughs> just, you know what, see, just because there was a lot of languages involved, in this one. I think that would be good. <laughs> I just feel like Rosetta Stone references something that isn't in this world, though. I mean, that's true. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, mean, get, I get your it. point. Like, it's, it does, like, it is a good one, but, like, if it was mm. the Dwarf Queen called Queen Rosetta, maybe. Um, oh, damn. I know, right? Damn it, Ryan. I know. Go back and change time. Right, guys, we'll start the session from scratch, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate session 48 Redux edition. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm good with Blood and Gold then. Yeah, I just thought it was quite a good one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good, good. Uh, wait, so. Goals. Oh. Hmm. What are you thinking about this vampire situation? <laughs> Oh, uh, we made progress, but just not the progress I wanted to make. <laughs> just that we know they have no clue what it is. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, any of us take some like um, copies of whatever was on the like the the weird symbols on the uh, tomb. On oh, the yeah, yeah, I took a fragment of stone with the pickaxe. I think with somebody the, took a rubbing of it. Did not? have shown that to them. I think somebody took a rubbing of some of the symbols that do not yeah. as well. Why would I think yeah. it would have been Kitty? I'm sure it was Aria. I thought it was Kitty, but yeah. Yeah, I thought it was Kitty too. Wait, no, sorry, that's what I meant. Oh, I think it's just because you were I know you tore it. stuff out of the book, but like, didn't you take a rubbing of it as well? The co like the sarcophagus? I don't know. Someone... Somebody can go listen yeah. back to that and yeah. link me to it if yeah, it happened. Yeah, I was, I was sure that was the case. Um, but, but by the way, like we, we didn't show that to the king, so yeah, might be a good idea to do that now. Yeah, when we see it again. Gonna... because if they see even that little fragment of the the thing that you that you you damaged the dwarven property and now you lord it in my <laughs> face. Oh, so, uh, well, they, they might, might not still recognize it at least. Well, remember, it had they nothing to do with dwarves on it, right? It was in no way well, dwarven looking. What I'm saying is, I'm reminding you, the symbols were weird elven runes. Yeah. But he can be multilingual, you don't know. I mean, he speaks Orcish. Mm -hmm. He yeah. might have other people that speak that weird elven like, but not really language. Mm -hmm. It's a gum language. <laughs> wow. So if, if, he's, <laughs> Sorry. if he's realizing that this is a threat, as much as we're realizing it's a threat, he'll probably have some sort of expert linguist something to, to show us. So I, I think we have made a little bit of progress on that, but. <laughs> Oh, maybe as much as we could have. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Um, and obviously, we made a bit of progress on the language trading, so I'm mm -hmm. chuffed about that as well. So yeah, that's we've, progressing. We've yep. A mm -hmm. couple of them this uh, this session. He, uh, that. We we know he doesn't want to help us with the engine or the vampire. So I feel like the vampire might be the lowest. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, it seems like we can get one thing out of it. Well, you got and... word to the great gold monarch about Gil, <laughs> right? So, if that W had been an M, you know. Oh. <laughs> but also, no, that's not how goals work. Um, but yeah, so we've still got great word to GGW about Gil. That's still slotted. We've got mm. investigate who yeah. or what the mistress of the flame is. Um, In progress. We've got obviously the the one that was actively worked on was three and four, and technically five, but I, I wouldn't say progress has been made, other than you know that maybe he isn't the one that cares about it. Because what the king said about that was, so you want to say, come help all, fight all these demons, but then you want to distract yourselves by going chasing some ghost. You know? Oh. So yeah, that was his, his feelings about that, you know? So it just depends what you think you can still progress with. So let's look at it again. Number one, get word to GGW about Gil. Who's going to work on that? Who's the next person to work on that goal? It's going to be ages away. Mm. 
So not until we get the red dragon and start heading back is it even possible. Is it though? Because at what point is like that you actively trying to get in touch with GW? Mm. Well, we sent a letter, didn't we? Yeah, but we don't know we didn't get a reply. You sent a letter to, I want to say it was Slilbass, Commander Slilbass of the uh, Order Hall in Glitterhagen. And when you got there, remember, he was already recalled to, you know, mm. the Citadel. Because remember, you went up there, met him. He says, by the way, there's orc problems up north. He's maybe you should deal with it. Um, then I went and punched things. Because he was, he was like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll pass this on if I see him, but shrug. Mm. God doesn't often stop by for tea, you know. So we've got basically a limited amount of time to do things, in a sense. So we have to start cutting out the amount of avenues we've got, right? And prioritizing, because I feel like things are going to run out of time if we don't do them. That's a, in, you know, I mean. Uh, I don't know how important this this gill one is because I wasn't there for that. He's the son of the god that rules our uh, order. So, given that two and a half members of the party are probably paladins now, like, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, Kitty, do you wear any armor from the Golden Order, or is it all your own stuff you wear? Uh, no, I do have um. Stuff. Underwear, that's not gold. <laughs> is that about that? Studded <laughs> leather, whatever so, that is. So you've got geo stuff as well, yeah? So realistically, four of you are actually paladins of the Golden Order, right? Because let's face it, four of you actively are wearing their stuff and are out doing stuff for them in the world. So what's the difference other than two of you started as paladins, right? Mm -hmm. So realistically, you've got four paladins of the Golden Citadel. In the party with you, Bethel. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing anything to do with that? Why are we doing this here in the door? I did bring this up ages ago, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was trying to reduce fire? the amount of avenues we were doing as well. But, the... <laughs> okay, yeah. that obviously needs to happen. That has to happen. We can uh, still postpone it though at the moment because it's not going to progress for any time soon, more than likely. Now keep then... in mind, the way I look at it is, right, if you're taking up one of your slotted like one of your five slots with a goal i am assuming someone's going to try to make progress on it in the session that follows that is what i will assume however goals don't auto complete right you's you's made it to forge in despite all the things in the way so you've got to forge safely because that was a goal and weirdly there was a lot of challenge getting there like plant growth <laughs> <laughs> but relentless. No. Last week, right? So last session, goal two, so you actively looked up stuff about the Mistress of the Flame. That makes sense mm -hmm. why it's still slotted. I like that one a lot. That's a right? fun one. Then you've got get the dwarves to help the citadel. You tried that this week, right? And uh, we might find out what the king's got to say now, because he clearly wants to speak to you all again, and he wants to see you all equipped and armed for some reason, right? Since it dumped all your stuff there. So I'm hoping that the dra not Dracula showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Has not Dracula showed up? Um, and then you've got obviously find out who the vampire is. And again, that was like, so those last three, uh, sorry. Is that Dracula? <laughs> is that Dracula? No, Dracula yes. is that Dracula? Oh God. Is that Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, how do you feel about the five goals you currently have, and what do you think you'll achieve next session, next two sessions, next three sessions? I mean, uh, how long has that get word to the Great Gorgorn one been there now? I don't even know. A couple months. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, feel I, like that, I would say it's good. maybe been there a year. Oh my, that's when you started, isn't it? We've been playing for over a year. Mm. Yeah. I'd, I'd definitely Wouldn't it just, say it. but it's not a year, because... Yeah. We didn't even do goals a year ago. No. But like, I'd, the anniversary was recent. Um, I'd say look at replacing that one. Just like, I like yeah. shelving it for temporarily for something yeah. you can actively work on, unless you start actively working on it. Because, I mean, you've mentioned Gil and you've mentioned the GGW, but. And he seemed uh, interested in what you've taught him. 
But mm. beyond that, right? Big problem uh, with that is I think there's no way take... to get in contact with them. So there you go. So long... That would mean you'd need to find a way to get in contact with them. We have, yeah, we have other things to do immediately. Pressing, I, I think. I, I feel like that one's going to take so long. We'll have time to replace it and then come back to it yeah. after finishing the goal that replaced it. Mm -hmm. it just I mean, we can replace, replace it with. Yeah, because there's no point talking about replacing it if you don't have a thing to slot in, right? Engine, engine stuff. Okay, engine, like engine what? stuff. Pimp my right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how's moving castle? Yeah, I'm pushing this again. No, um. Well, it's not really a moving castle if you're pushing it, is it? It's the moved <laughs> castle. <laughs> I think. Are we? We're definitely going to go and try and reach out to the the red dragon, right? Mm -hmm. So we should probably start on that quest, find some sort of goal that alludes to that. Make we're going sure to do that pretty much as it. soon as we get out of here. Oh, well, I mean, what did the Wolf King say about that? That seems he said it was a folly. Mm -hmm. Fuck him, he's not my king anymore. Oof. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he cast the zone of truth when you get in. Wait, what, what were you saying in the in the wrap up chat? What was that? Oh, <laughs> I cast <laughs> meta knowledge. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so okay, goal one. Get word to GW at Gil, right? Let's let's chuck that back into Reach's pile for now. So I'm to do that for me, and then we'll we'll put something in its place then. What do you want to progress? What is what do you think the next thing you as a group will achieve? Not from the goals list, just in general with the game. What's the next thing to be achieved? Uh, probably talk to the king, then get out of this. But where we're going next will probably be da -da -da. to the red dragon if we want to do that. That's where we're heading after this, right? Oh, we need to oh, go yeah. to the white. Dra yeah. It's the white dragon that we're. Is, I'm right in saying that. No, it's the red. No, no, but we're 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 not going to go to the white to get, because he's a bit more, you know, lenient and the one to talk to. I ain't saying that that's the kind of high, high stop one, isn't it? Yep, you. I think it was you that rolled a really good history roll about this, but yeah, it's um. Uh, mm, frustrate. The white is the winter king, and is in mm. charge of the five. That's it. Yeah, he's the one in charge. Yeah, I didn't know if he was like the ruler, or, but yeah, he's the one in charge. So if we go to him. We can talk and be like, yo, we need the help of the red rather than trying to approach the red. Because if we approach the red, red, I guarantee you I will attack him. Hmm. I can probably okay. guarantee as well that like nobody really approaches the red and they usually die. So. Well, yeah, we're probably going to be leaving this, this the forge any day now. Uh, <laughs> where, where are we going right after that? Straight. Oh, to we'll that. be yeah, we'll be heading north to the. Thing. All right, let's do that then. Let's put that as a goal. Next thing we do. Okay, how do you want to word that? Um, Find the white dragon. Uh, da, da, da. what's like a big enough thing to be a goal? Like I guess Stu just said it right. Yeah. Find mm -hmm. the white dragon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like a big thing. thing for it was a bit. I mean, dragons are big, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, you are going to have to like wander mountains to find it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I'm saying it's going to take forever. All right. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Time to update that then, because I don't see any changes on the goal sheet. I thought Shan was. Are you? Oh, okay. I'll do that. It's right here in front of me. So make sure we copy and paste. Get word over to reach his pile. So, oh, there we go. Yeah, are we good? I don't see it in the reaches pile. I see it. someone's written it. Yeah, it is there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? it's so dark. There we go. Also, that's not Reach's pile. Yeah. I've actually got an idea for them, but I'll talk about that after. 
Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I need to move those further the down. The one on the left, is it? Yeah, because that's the idea. It's pile. Not like these these spaces aren't currently used. It's just Gold's Nouveau that we use. Okay. There we go. We use the gold box. <laughs> Okay, cool. And we've got find the white dragon. I think that's a pretty good goal, to be honest. Like we also know when it's ended, right? Cuz it's probably yeah. going to be a cliffhanger, isn't it? <laughs> On a breath of frost. Oh yeah, I can <laughs> see you doing that. So um yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about investigate Mistress of Flame? Are we going to get some progress on that? I hope so. I like that. I will definitely want to keep that. Yeah. I mean, I still want to know why and, and what, and, you know, I think it's still quite relevant, but if people have a better idea and want to shelve that for now, I completely understand. Again, it only really matters if somebody's got a more immediate goal, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'd be happy to shelve nope. it if, if there's something. Uh, what about Crumbar with that kid? Is that an immediate thing, checking up on him? I don't know if he's already dead. No. We don't really have a way. Um, last time we saw him... Is it a uh, thing? It's just not an immediate thing. basically took him away from us. But I feel like, I mean, you're hallucinating. Like... Oh yeah, he is, but... <laughs> yeah, but as, as, Ryan kind of point, as Ryan pointed out, it's a hallucination. It's not like I can just be like, Oh, cool, look, found him, yoink, out of, you know, not reality. Yeah, but I think it might become said... a goal if you keep having hallucinations about him because yeah. right now you're quite messed up. You've you've had that episode where you're like, I don't know, almost died. Okay. So I think it's safe to say your brain isn't really full on right now, but if you keep having hallucinations about him after you're like back to be yourself hundred percent, I think maybe then it might be worth investigating it longer. I don't know. I'm just Mm -hmm. Saying words here. Yeah. Plus, it seems uh, like cool. Like, keep in mind that Celeste said you seem to be carrying a lot of hate for things, right? And also guilt, right? So maybe it's just all that swirling around Crumber, the unresolved yeah. issues. No, he's going crazy. Yeah, that's it. Hundred percent. So many people have borrowed his mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, so many okay. people have his Netflix password. His lists all messed up. Dead off <laughs> to me recently. Um, so, are we keeping Investigate Mistress of the Flame, right? For now, then. Mm -hmm. It sounds like we're keeping it for now because we don't have any immediate changes. Obviously, you've actively worked on the language one, so that seems like these are. Hello. Fucking. <laughs> my phone's fucking going off. So, so I had it on silent. we're keeping the language one. Mm hmm. Uh, I assume, unless you want to shelf it and work on something else, I doubt it though. Well, this is a good point, because I mean, I don't understand. Well, maybe we don't all have to know the same languages. I mean, if we find something, say, example, Dwarven, Reach and I could just read it for the party. Mm -hmm. I don't think we necessarily all have to know. But it's up to you, again, if there's a better goal. But for now, I'm happy to work on it. Yeah, again. I like learning Infernal. No, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm happy with them. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, goal four seems like the one you probably should keep the most, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. the thing is, though, like as soon as next week starts and you get to the king, he says, "No, what's the plan?" Punch him in the deck. Right. Okay. What if it's made Again. of gold? <laughs> <laughs> it was made by my maker. <laughs> Elric Brubley had made my dick. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it. We'll cross that bridge when it comes to. Okay. A painful stamp to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, but yeah, I think goal four should stay, uh, and goal five, the mm -hmm. vampire thing. Yeah, I want that one to stay because I think that can still come up. Okay. What are Scrumber cool. going to do to pursue that? Hmm? What are you going to do to pursue? <laughs> Who me? Just, anyone, right, the group. 
what are you going to do to pursue it? Because what's the point in keeping a slot busy when? Well, you were saying we've got those we've got those pressings, so mm -hmm. yeah. get somebody to, get yeah. somebody to look into that, see if they can work it in from it. I'm guessing there is some kind of grand librarian scholarship nonsense thing. Yeah, we mean that, that. That made sense in my mind. You mean like um, God? What was his name? What was the elf called in a uh, the Golden Citadel? It's John. On the NPC list, right? So let's go to the <laughs> start of the NPC list. Kermit. Where is he? No, none of these are the things. Uh, where is he? Dane Valfiel. That was his name. The elf, the Citadel Lorekeeper. Lore keeper, yeah, that that's kind of that thing. dude, the guy with the blue eyes, if you remember, mm. he spoke to a, what's his face, Eric, about sneaky things. Yes, so you're looking for like a lore keeper, essentially. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. A, a, a knower of things. A thinger of nose, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. If you're happy, if you think there's a, an avenue to proceed with it, we'll keep it. That's just how I want you to focus on the golds, because obviously if there is no immediate... What's our next step? Why is it there? The next step part should should be the goal. So... Yeah. Because this is how you just get XP. Yeah, if we like talk to the king and it goes well, then we have like a day to ourselves to gather up for the journey to the White Dragon and stuff. We can kind of fan out and go pursue different things. Mm -hmm. And Crumbar can work on research and that, etc. We'll see. It's definitely doable. Mm -hmm. yeah. As far as working on it, unless so. the uh, the king insists on he's escorting uh, any help that he may send to the mm -hmm. citadel. Ooh, right. That'd be interesting. Well, yeah, we'll change it if that happens, I guess. But for now, mm. I think it's very tangible and fun. Vampires are cool. Yeah, I think so too. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I am, I'm happy with the goals as they are. Then that works for me. I yeah. right. And to get any ideas for the wish list? Oh, what's the wish list? I've never heard of this. It's Crumbar's wish ideas. You actually have written yeah. it. You, you, I... it already. Oh, I thought you meant the group wish list for goals. No. Okay, we're on Crumbar. No. Okay. no, but that's what we just had. We just had a conversation about goals. <laughs> but a wish list, like a backlog. I mean, again, you can still talk about that in goals, right? That's still a conversation yeah. that can happen. Oh, right. all, all, like obviously, like the main one I'm thinking of is is what? Speak your words. I'm trying to remember how to spell resurrect. Sorry, I've got a bitch of a headache <laughs> right now. Resurrect. It's R E Z space P L Z. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Res, please. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's cool. That's a huge one. Mm -hmm. Low stick energy, but I'll take it. It's <laughs> a um, chaotic good stick energy, isn't it? <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, cool. Anybody else get any uh, random ideas to chuck into the let's make Scott have too many things to think about list? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, solve everything. <laughs> yes. Fix the world! Hold sword up. Thundercats logo, please. <laughs> Just the end of Evangelion. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Never, <laughs> just zooms out and it's the Death Star f stock footage blowing up, and it's just that. <laughs> Boom. So. Yep. Moving on. Um, I'm just yeah. highlighting the ones that I'm kind of leaning towards. Okay. Just to make it easier for myself. Do so you make it the the, the most vibrant colour that burns my retinas? But yeah, okay. I That's love one. pink. I know. I know, buddy. Um, right, well, that is a session. Let us do a wrap-up chat then, and let us start with Arya. Let's just go from a random order. Oh, um... I don't... 
quite, no, I have to say, because I said at the beginning, I was a bit like, we're in, we're locked in here, and I don't like this, and then, oh yeah, let's give away our weapons, I don't like this even less, and, and, and then we, we spoke to the king, and I was like, okay, I don't really know what to say and how to convince this guy, so in that, it was kind of like, awkward for me, but I'm happy that those two had quite a lot of stuff to, to discuss with him and actually, like, further the party's goals. Hmm. But I really enjoyed that little bit at the end, especially the, the roleplay side of things where I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll learn more, Infernal, oh shit, I need help. And then, <laughs> oh shit, no, actually, I didn't need help to begin with. I'm just correcting everything Crumbar says here. <laughs> Confidence. Well, that, that was that was fun. I like that little bit of, of interaction between our, our characters quite a lot. Found that to be very fun. Yeah, it was good. And I'm really excited about next next week to see um, what more we can find out from the king with the things that we didn't think to show him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Mm -hmm. um, what his, you know, overall decision and such will will be. So I'm really excited for next week already, and I have seven days I need to wait for it, which is sucks. <laughs> but hey, that's kind of the only thing I can think of. Nice. Nice. Uh, I reach. I go next. Yeah, we're still a bit iffy what we are doing next, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see that. That's... Well, at least the immediate thing is you get to find out what the king wants to say to you, right? As part two. Yeah. So that's something. Um, yeah. I guess the king and us would have been a good session title as well. Um, <laughs> but yeah. mm -hmm. I never thought of it then. So, well. And, uh, yeah. Anything else for that? Nah, no real. That's, yeah. that's it. Get with. I found the meeting from bar always trying to out each other's funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, I understand how George R. R. Martin wrote so much about food because he was clearly sat with people that also enjoyed food as much as him. So, <laughs> yeah, I understand that now since we have had a lot of food adventures in this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I, I can't eat Teddy anymore, so I shall just try and out eat her. Sorry, can't you do it? Say what you were saying there, because you are very quiet, and everybody just seems to talk over you. <laughs> I was just saying, like, if I take anything away from this, it's all of the food. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I've eaten food and had like a little food eating competition. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see your... that, that endless platter, but it wasn't gonna quite fit in my bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Then there was the gnome's instant banquet meal thing and everything from his backpack, and then you dived into his backpack and. <laughs> Food brought me on some wild adventures. This is it, right? You know, go where the stomach takes you. Um, good, good. And Grumbar? Um. Well, this is more to do with last session, but I like the part where I didn't die. Right. Okay. This isn't about last <laughs> session, though. This is about this session. <laughs> Um, I also like the part where I didn't die. <laughs> no, um, I, I really like the whole interaction with the king. That was fucking baller. Nice. Um, I'm glad you like really... the NPCs. Yeah, because um, I was like, oh, this guy's going to be a stubborn con. And I'm like, yeah, he's yeah. actually he's actually not. This is quite good. Yeah, like, you don't get to be king and not have had people kill you if you're an asshole, right? All the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, yeah. No, it was like that kind of way. It's like I felt like he was actually listening to reason, like some mm. of the things that we had to reason with him and stuff. I'm like, yay! Maybe I don't want to kill, kick this guy. And maybe how, and also, how, how much he holds Oradak Dorath in regard, right? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to bring up on that more next session. Or... Obviously, I'm hoping that what will happen is he'll talk to me more about things he wanted to ask me, and then I'm going to ask him about Ordak, mm -hmm. also known as not the Draco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I should add Grumper. Um, I love you. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
It's always nice no to way. feel loved. Um, Give him another wish. Come on. <laughs> I want to see the repercussions of the first one first. <laughs> I'm I'm dreading the repercussions of the first one. I actually am so excited. I'm not gonna lie. It has added such a new dynamic to the game where now everybody's on edge. So it's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> What like. was the true wish? It was anxiety along the way. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what Crumbar actually like uses the the last of the fate of his people that was taken from them. So this is mm. like Celeste's way of giving you that potential back, right? So yeah, it's nice from that angle, and it's why things like Crumbar wishes to be level twenty. Isn't a good wish because Crumbar doesn't think of himself in levels, right? Crumbar so. wishes to be the most powerful being in the universe. You find yourself alone instantaneously. You just turn yeah. into like air or something. <laughs> well, it's more so as well as we, you were saying. Like, it's only like other people can still counter it. And yeah. make it not happen and stuff. Oh yeah, because like keep in mind, like the wish spell is you messing with magic on a big scale, right? Mm -hmm. But there are still gods. Yeah, so I can't just be like, "Fuck the Wizard King." I mean, it depends if the gods were like, "Man, it seems okay," right? Like it, but then he might not want that, right? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Sadly, you 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 can counter a wish. So, there is that. So King mm -hmm. finds himself chained to S and M bench. It's also that like kind of way as well. Is it's only got one charge of it, you mm. know? So it's like better not fuck this up. Yeah, it's like what can you wish for that will give you the most benefit, but also at the same time not immediately next week think of a better thing you could have used it for. Right. Mm. Yeah. Because there's no take backsies once it's in that box, buddy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah. By the power of Grayscar. And the thing is, right, see if you Google, like, best uses of Wish in 5e. Reddit doesn't mm. help. It's, it really doesn't. It's all garbage. It's all memes. It, mm -hmm. so. uh, it was all like, well, you know, it was all based on ones that. I'm guessing they had a recharge on or something like that, and I'm like, well, I used it to cast this spell, and I'm like, fuck mm -hmm. off. Like, <laughs> I, want to, I want to change the fabric of reality, not fucking make a picnic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And that's it, right? Like, it's a big thing, and I mean, yeah, it's something to explore. You've got so many things going on in this place that you may as well use it for a big thing, right? It may as well mm -hmm. be something big and world changing because if it fucks you up turn fucks everyone into puppies two <laughs> dual wielding <laughs> two handed weapons but I mean I know what you're saying that would be cool but A I don't have a second weapon and B I'm not proficient in dual wielding so <laughs> it's a literal wish you can wish that in yes but it's like how you'd wish that that's true. Oh, also, <laughs> I mean, what would I rather have? Like, your wooden weapons are like, you know, just giant laser cannon. <laughs> this is true. How is Crumper going to wish for a laser cannon? Spot on laser. Like, how how will Crumper wish for that? I will find a way. <laughs> okay, yeah. So good. I wish that Crumbar was a wizard, right? Like, just <laughs> instantly becomes a wizard. Um be so good yeah just change your class entirely uh, no, anything else you want to add just... before we uh no nah, no nah, i'm all good bro i am all good bastiel uh good progress all around mm -hmm. um yeah that went great i'm glad that i'm glad that there was a role to see if what i said to the dwarven king would be a massive fuck up mm -hmm. uh, that was exciting mm -hmm. um yeah, they're just great all around. Yeah. And we're making progress. We're doing, we're, you know, we're kind of achieving zone transitions at least. Every session or every other session is going well. Good momentum. Mm -hmm. 
having fun. The um, other thing I went to mention as well is you did a charisma roll, not a Christmas save earlier, but I just didn't want to go back on it. Like I was, uh, we'd already moved past it by quite a significant amount of time before I realised. I am. Um, like Arya does a Christmas so save, you do a charisma roll sheet, and Crumber does a Christmas save. So it should have been a save year old, not just charisma, but again, by the time I'd realised. I think I have zero to that anyway, so it would be the same exact dice numbers. But, uh, That's fine. Luckily. It, was, it was just uh, one of those things where I'm like, it's not really worth rerolling, the RP's been fine. You weren't exactly under interrogation yourself anyway, right? Because yeah. it was mostly aimed at whatever Crumbar believes is inside you. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, that was fine. But I just wanted to point that out for all those people going, but it's a charisma roll and not a charisma save. And like, no, I did notice. I just didn't feel it was important to bring up at this point. So mm. until right now. So uh, yeah, mm. yeah. anything else <laughs> you want to add, Bastian? Uh, no, that was pretty good. I mean, I feel like I did talk a lot of that, but for a lot of that, and Cromwell too. Would have been cool to see. You know other people's takes on certain things, mm. but I guess we didn't have time. Or something. I think it's just some people have more instinct to like engage with certain things in front of them in the RP sense, right? Because you've mm. got things that apply to certain characters, and some people don't have any particular like weight. And yeah. other than I live in the world, I don't want to end. So. It's just that Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy is... line, right? It's the, you know, why do you want to save the galaxy? Because I'm one of the idiots that live in it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fair. So sometimes it's just there's more relevant things that happen in certain sessions. But then, yeah, you're right. Other people could make themselves relevant, but it just depends what people have. If they don't have an in, it is tricky. I've been in that position myself as a player where I've sat there and went, I am here, guys. I just... It's not about dragons. So my guy's looking yeah. at the picture of dragons. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I was going to ramble on and on in the dwarf town. Yeah. Right. That, that makes was, sense, right? But what is good yeah. is you made a lot of progress in the sense of you now know that maybe the answers you look for don't necessarily lie here. Yeah, it was amazing. Which is good. Really cool with the hammer as well. Mm. Yeah. It was really you made that up on the spot. What the. Just based on the role, where you'd like, yeah, no, actually, he made it too. I would never reveal such things. That was obviously the only thing that could ever possibly have happened. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that you were talking about. Um, <laughs> it's just the Dwarf King's hammer. Everything was that. Genius. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it was that or him go, meh. I I'll, I'll guess I'll look that guy's name up. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. He's a king. How many names do you think he actually knows beyond his family? No, no point. Right? So All of them. Yeah. In stone, like, they are carved. <laughs> um, oh, I've mind. I actually just, like, so when I was designing this place, um, just my own little thoughts at the end here, I really enjoyed, so I was tempted with this, and you're going to hate me for having not done this, but uh, the room full of gold... I was originally going to describe, like, if I described, oh, you, there's a big throne room, you lead up the big pathway up to leading to him, and he's covered, like, the piles of gold everywhere. You'd imagine a floor-level room with gold piled up, and then him up on the big podium thing. And I was tempted yeah. that on your way out, you would have to scoop a cup of gold with you, like a leaving gift, to prove how mm. generous and benevolent the Dwarf King was. And I didn't like that in the end, because I thought it was actually really garbage. Um, I like the idea Pretty enough good. for a different person in a different game, but the idea that he's that needy that people see how generous and rich the dwarf thing is that MD can come visit him and take a cup of gold away. Like, yeah. I like that angle, but as you can tell, this isn't that type of guy. I am. He's not an idiot. Yeah, he's not going to just be exploited like that. Yeah. Or outsmarted. It's more just, I wanted to convey different things about this guy, like why you were allowed yeah. in a room completely empty of other people bar him. Yeah, right. that was really cool. Yeah, it was like the, I'm here, my weapon is just standing there. Speak while I fill my pipe. <laughs> but yeah. So, anything else you want to add, Bastiel? No, all good. Oh, I, yeah, I think that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to next week. Uh, hopefully everybody can make next time. If not, let me know. I'll pop in a wee thing in the chat just now. And thanks everybody for playing. It was 
good, good right, stuff. Go. All right, bye, so goodbye, everybody. everybody. Yeah, thanks. Bye. 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 bye.